Art is all about creativity. And doing a few art challenges is about pushing your boundaries, sometimes a little and sometimes a lot. In this video, I'll be doing the farm challenge. I have to give a big hello to Dana Tollefson for initiating this fun challenge. For the most part, I like to start with the background. That way, I get fewer surprises at the end. I've mixed a small amount of white with the cerulean blue to create the main colour for my horse. I always use a number of brushes when I'm painting and plan towards the end of the painting to use some of my bigger brushes, but not the bristle part. What you need to do in this challenge is to create a piece of artwork based on anything you find on a farm, and it can be in any medium. It could be a sculpture, it could be digital, it could be a collage. The choice is up to you. You can be as creative as you like. I wanted to create a piece of artwork that looked like moonlight was just hitting the horse, creating a surreal creature bathed in light. Though in reality the moon would perhaps create a horse in silhouette. So I'm definitely using my artistic license here. As you may have noticed, the style of my horse is based on those beautiful Chinese statues. These horses have many meanings, including power, strength and success. According to Feng Shui, horses should be placed facing the south. Now I have the basic blue colour of the horse done, I can now start on adding some highlights, simply by adding a little more white to the basic blue shade that I made before. Going back to the use of white acrylic paint with gouache. I'm constantly looking online to see if I can see a single tube of gouache paint priced at a reasonable cost. However, they are very expensive and if I constantly need white, it's going to cost a lot. So a quality brand of white acrylic paint works as a great substitute for white gouache. It may lack some of the flexibility of gouache, but I get twice the amount of paint for half the money. I try not to mix acrylic and gouache in areas that I may want to rework, but for backgrounds, it works just great. Now for the ultramarine, which I want to use to create a shadow for the horse. However, I'm not entirely convinced by it, so maybe I'll tone it down a little. We'll see how it goes. Right now the horse looks like it's standing in a puddle of water, which I don't think was quite the effect I was going for. Now to add a touch of yellow for the highlights, I would really suggest that everyone tries an art challenge once in a while. They're a fun way to really stretch yourself and a way to interact with other artists. It's not about being perfect or great, it's really about trying something new and participating. Hmm, I always like to push boundaries. I've decided to add something extra to the painting. Well, as it's fall and it's a farm theme, why not do some falling leaves? Falling leaves are actually quite stunning. You know, when you're walking in a park or on a farm or through the woods. Leaves that are flowing to the ground or gently swirling can be quite magical. Thank you. 
I'm going to add some highlights to the leaves just to make them stand out a little. Here's where I use my bigger brushes, but not the bristles. I'm actually using the ends of the brush and adding a little paint to create a decorative element on the mane of the horse. You know, like when a horse has its hair braided. As a final touch, I'll use a white pencil to create a line around the horse, just to make the horse stand out from the background. I really quite like the way this turned out, and I like the limited use of palette, and I know there's going to be a lot of elements that I will be using in future paintings. So there we have a beautiful, surreal horse. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Wishing you much love. Peace.